We've all come face to face with the uncanny valley. Hey, you Felix, I just movie, test playing a video game or watching the colorful animatronics at Disney World. You had that gut feeling that something just wasn't quite right. In 1970, Japanese robotics engineer Masahiro Mori first coined the term uncanny valley. Mori noticed that the more human his robots appeared, the more people reacted positively towards them. However, when the robots appeared very close to humans, but not enough to be convincing, people found them to be visually revolting. This chasm between nearly human and fully human is what Mori identified as the uncanny valley. With the advent of CGI technology, discussion about the uncanny valley has been more prevalent than ever, as filmmakers and animators alike have continued to struggle with it for decades. One of the most prominent examples is the film Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. This, the this film is featured scary, more man. realistic CGI animation than had ever been attempted. The main character, Aki Ross, was composed of over 400,000 rendered polygons and 60,000 fully rendered and animated hairs. Despite this meticulous attention to detail, the film bombed. The failure of Final Fantasy has been largely attributed to the Uncanny Valley, which was a major source of criticism from filmgoers and critics alike. That same year, DreamWorks Animation mil. Studios narrowly avoided the Uncanny Valley themselves. During a test screening for the film Shrek, children started crying because the main character, Princess Fiona, had been rendered too realistically, giving her a spooky effect. As a result, the animators of the film toned down the character's realism and made her features more cartoony. But fear of the uncanny valley has not stopped filmmakers and animators from continuing to try and innovate realistic CG animation. Dude, the Polar Express, I thought this was weird. in 2004, pioneered new motion capture technology. This process involved recording the movements of live actors for their animated counterparts. Some the parts... filmmakers hoped that this new technique would remove the unnatural movement of digital characters that made audiences uncomfortable. This technology was received with mixed success. Technology may someday reach a point where the uncanny valley is no longer a problem. Chat, Robot I actually rewatched this movie a, a couple uh, weeks ago. God, it was, it was, there was something unsettling about it again, dude. Where the uncanny valley it was is good, no though. longer a problem. Robots and animation could become so sophisticated that they blend in seamlessly with reality. One thing is certain, technology will never stop trying to push the limits of realism. The uncanny valley that was interesting, though. is here to stay. For more on robotics and animation, check out Mashable's latest coverage. And don't forget to watch the- Okay.